Today we're making jambalaya in a Dutch oven. You'll really want to stick around. Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. You know, I've been to New Orleans a couple of times and I really love the people and the food. And I thought, what better way to bring those memories home than to make jambalaya in a Dutch oven? So we found a recipe that is very easy and it's delicious. We're gonna share it with you today. This recipe has some simple ingredients. One tablespoon olive oil, one half pound smoked sausage, one half large onion, one half cup green bell pepper, and a half cup red bell pepper, one cup chopped celery, one half teaspoon of Cajun seasoning or to taste, three bay leaves, one quarter teaspoon dried thyme, one cup uncooked white rice, one can of diced tomatoes with the juice, two cups chicken broth, one tablespoon minced garlic, and one pound peeled and deveined medium shrimp. All right, let's get to it. So the first thing that we're going to do is take our smoked sausage and cut it into one quarter inch slices. Next, we're going to take one large onion, cut it in half, and chop one half up to add to our ingredients. The next ingredients are bell peppers, one half red and one half of a green. Next, we'll add a cup of chopped celery. Next, we'll mince garlic. We've got our Dutch oven ready, we put briquettes on top and on the bottom, following the rule of three that we taught in another video. Now as it's warming up, we're ready to put in our oil, get that warmed up, then we'll add the sausage. One tablespoon of oil. Get that warmed up nicely. Let's go ahead and add sausage. We'll let that cook for a couple of minutes. Our sausage is all warmed up. We're ready to add the vegetables that we've already cut up. Then I'll put in some real salt that I really like. It's mined from the central Utah. And then we'll add the Cajun spices and let it simmer for six to eight minutes. We've been cooking for a while. We've taken the lid off and stirred it a few times. Now it's time to check and see if the vegetables are soft and ready to go. That looks beautiful. See if I can get a little piece of a pepper here. We'll try that. That is just right, just right. So now what we're going to do is add the rice, make sure that it's coated with the vegetable mixture we're gonna add that first before we add the tomatoes and the chicken broth, just because we wanna make sure that the rice is completely coated with some of the oils and juices. Diced tomatoes with all the juices, just go ahead and pour everything in there. Now we'll get a couple of cups of chicken broth. There we go. Add our precisely measured thyme and put in our bay leaves. Give that a little stir. We're gonna bring that to a simmer and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. This smells wonderful. It's time to check it out. Wow, that looks fantastic. Let me give it a stir. That is unbelievable. That looks and smells so good. And then we'll add the shrimp. Let me give it a stir. Give it another 10 minutes and we'll be ready to eat. It should take about 10 minutes for the shrimp to turn pink and a little get rid of that translucent feel. Every man should carry a fork in his pocket. So we want to check out one of these shrimp. Oh, that is so ready. Mmm. Okay, let's serve it up. We're going to dish it up, but I can see I've got a bay leaf here. We're going to see if we can find the three bay leaves and take those out so we don't put them into someone's bowl. I'm sure we'll find the next one in a minute, but I'm not waiting. We're gonna 
dish up a bowl of that. Look how nice that looks. That is beautiful. Let's eat. This is such an easy dish that you can do when you go camping. Just pre-cut up your vegetables, take your Dutch oven, set it up, and it is so easy and good. I'm telling you, just a little bit of a taste of Louisiana. Very, very nice. We hope you enjoyed watching this. Mm. And we hope you join us again at OSME TV.